What's up guys, I'm Twitch with Save One More Life. Are you gonna lose your arm by training with a tourniquet? Today we're gonna be finding out if I'm gonna lose my arm or leg from using a tourniquet in training. So to start it off, I'm gonna get my heart rate up a little bit, then I'll put a tourniquet on, then we'll continue and see what happens when we put the second one on. Go high and tight, tighten it down. Don't ever halfway do it because you'll practice doing it halfway. If you ever need a tourniquet, you need it right now. Good. Let's try some sandbag. This is Billy. 50 pound sandbag. You'll meet him in class, so come to class. So right about now, I can tell coloration starting to leave this hand. Capillaries are not refilling, but I do still have some movement capability, some strength, at least for a while, but it's becoming slower. Response time is delayed. Keep going. We'll go back and we'll put a leg one on. All right, we've got a good tingle happening now. Let's see. If we can get this tourniquet on again. My dexterity is much slower. Don't let that worry you. It'll come back in a moment. Dexterity is a big deal. And as your heart rate goes up, you'll start to lose it anyway. So it's really good to practice tourniquet application with an elevated heart rate in the heat, maybe even with a tourniquet on. Let's try some hammer. Let's try to keep from losing it. Feel good. All right. I've almost lost all feeling in this hand now. So let's see what happens when we take it off. Got that flow going on, it gets warm again. Just like that, dexterity starts to come back that fast. Still slightly slow, let's keep going. Oh yeah. Feels like we're at about 90%. Press and presses. Back to Billy. Sandbag. Yep, we're pretty much normal. You'll notice what we call tourniquet bite. Slight mild bruising around that extremity. But we're back to full function, guys. Now, what about the leg? Full tingle. Let's find out. We still have usability. Yep, that one's back even faster. <sighs> Moral of the story, you can do it. You can do it. And so can pretty much anybody I've encountered. So, get out there and do training. If you want training, go to saveonemore.life to learn more.